Hey, what is going on guys? BSD Spear here back with another Destiny video. In today's video, we're going to be showing you guys uh, how to take Atheon down in one phase to complete the Atheon challenge. Now, uh, you can definitely do this in two phases if you can't quite get enough DPS, um, but I would say if everyone has the right loadout, you might as well give it a go. So as always, guys, drop a like if you enjoy the video, subscribe if you're new here, and let's get started with how to complete the Atheon challenge in one phase. Alright, so to get things started, everyone in your fire team is going to want to have Sleeper Simulant. If you don't have Sleeper Simulant, uh, definitely grab uh, a machine gun or a uh, high impact sniper rifle would probably be the best. Um, once everybody has Sleeper Simulant, you can definitely, definitely get this done. Now, you are going to need someone to tether, and you're going to need a weapons bubble in the back like usual. Alright, so... Challenge mode for Atheon is basically as this. As simple as terms, each person of your fire team has to destroy an oracle, and one person cannot destroy two oracles. So every oracle has to be killed by a different person. So the way the encounter works, Atheon summons three people at random to go into the portal. Uh, this is where teamwork and communication is going to be key. It's not necessarily difficulty, it's communication and clear callouts. So, when we get teleported in here, you'll see, I call out, uh, I got Relic, so I'm going to pick up the Relic, that means I get the third Oracle. The other two people in there, they're going to get one and two, right? So I pick up the Relic, uh, jump down, kill the adds, they're going to start working on the first Oracle. Right there, so he got the first Oracle, right? So I'm killing adds, alright, adds are cleared, Cooper got the second one, alright, so they're running out of the portal. So with the Relic... I'm going to cleanse them on their way out, shoot my super at the third oracle, right there. So I got three, he got four. Alright, so now this guy's shooting, Dogger got five, and then we just need the last guy to get six. Now, as soon as you kill your oracle, get out of the portal, because the people on the outside need to come in. Uh, so on the outside, you're going to have one person holding open the portal until you see the first person get out. So if you're the first person out of the portal, uh, you're going to want to hold the portal open for everyone else. Now, on your way out, be careful. There are going to be supplicants, and they will blow you up. This will happen very frequently. Um, so, just so that we're clear, everybody has to kill an oracle, and you cannot kill an oracle twice. This, is, this goes really easy with communication and clear callouts. If, for some reason, an oracle gets killed out of order, uh, just make sure you call out. For example, uh, there'll be sometimes I can't hit thir third oracle with my super, and so I have to slam the ground to get it. Just be careful if you're slamming with the relic, because you could accidentally destroy two. Uh, so in this run, uh, I ran into the portal, right? So he got one, two, and three, right? So I'm going for four, right? Here's four. Fusion rifles work pretty well. Especially if you get Oracle Dis Disruptor, Praetorian's Foil, that works well. So I kill an Oracle, I hop out, right, we're holding the portal open, watching for Supplicants, killing them. As soon as you see Times Vengeance, everyone rushes to the middle. He's going to drop a bubble in the back. Uh, the guy in the front, he's going to throw up his shield, and we're all going to hit him with Sleeper Simulant. You'll see how much damage I'm doing every single shot. Now I notice uh, when you're aiming for him, you actually have to aim a little bit underneath his crit point. Uh, and that'll actually make sure you get your uh, full tr crit hits. So you can see here, we got four seconds left. He's almost down. Two, one, and he is down. And that is how you take out Atheon in one phase. Everybody use sleepers, weapons bubble in the back, um, and get through as quick as possible. All right, so there you go, guys. That's going to bring us to the end of this video. If this video helped you at all uh, or you enjoyed it, please remember to drop a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and we'll see you guys next time. I'm BSD Spear, and I'm out.